Hey, dudes, we might know for sure whether or not you might be able to see a supernova next year. Gizmodo says this is how we know a supernova is coming in 2016. Those stars are pretty. Damn pixel pirates. Stay cool. This is a Thor News presentation. Hit the button, baby. Party dance time. Thor News presents. What happens sometimes is when two stars date, fall in love, and marry. In their hearts, they, they melt. And then a little bit of gravity gets all balance. And then boom, it explodes. It creates a bunch of baby stars or something. Or it creates neutron stars or pulsars or GRBs or unicorn fantasies. I don't know. Ask science. Why? Oh, okay. Okay, I'll read the article. They'll give you the real science. In early 2016, astronomers will be looking at a specific part of the sky, knowing with near certainty that a supernova will appear. How is it possible to predict such events? They're science, man. They can do anything. The answer has to do with an effect known as gravitational lensing. All right. Score. Touchdown. Ladies and gentlemen, what is gravitational lensing? Thor definition. Modern science likes to take a galaxy and turn it into a telescope so they don't have to build any new telescopes, but they can double, triple, and quadruple the data that they give you for their big grant money. Am I saying it's totally BS? I would use totally different letters. So yeah, scientists are so fucking cool, man, they can turn a galaxy into a telescope, even though they can't re-land on the moon. Or take a decent photo of Sedna or Eris. Like, can we really not improve on a photograph from 2006, gentlemen? Okay, so this, this article is brought to you by Science and Gravitational Lensing. Technically, the 2016 supernova is a replay of the supernova Refstall. Refenstall? First observed by astronomers in November 2014. They observed four different visual instances of it. The light from this massive stellar explosion appeared in multiple parts of the sky because a huge galaxy cluster, Max, J11492223, was directly in front of it. Oh yeah, that picture looks totally freaking believable. See? This illustration breaks down gravitational lensing for the smallest children and the smallest minds. You have a little planet like Earth. It uses its fancy science to use a galaxy as a telescope. And then all the galaxies in front of that galaxy are magnified to the millionth science power. And that is how we know so much from our pixels. Logically, the supernova should be obstructed by the galaxy cluster. Wait, what? Logically, the supernova should be obscured by the galaxy cluster, but the cluster's tremendous gravitational forces are bending space, creating a telescope. That is so sweet, man. That is so sweet. It's like the sweetest thing I've heard. Ever. Logically, the supernova... Oh. The effect, known as gravitational lensing, essentially turns the cluster into a gigantic magnifying glass. Yeah. Seems legit. What's the point of this stupid story? Oh yeah, supernova's coming. Let's get back to that. Together, the formation of the four supernova images is known as... An Einstein cross. Astronomers have seen this sort of thing before in the form of duplicated images of galaxies. But this is the first time it has ever been seen in a supernova. Oh sweet dudes, we are getting a gravitationally lensed supernova in 2016. Mark your calendars and start polishing your shoes. And bake your bunt cakes. And decorate your ham radio. The top circle shows the position of the supernova as it was seen in 1995. The bottom circle shows the galaxy which lensed the Refstall supernova four times. The circle in the middle shows the predicted position of the reappearing supernova in early 2016. Fascinating. That made me just butter my bread twice. The four images of the supernova are now fading away as the explosion simmers down. But astronomers are anticipating a replay of Refstall early next year, as noted in a Hubble Space Telescope release. The supernova images do not arrive on Earth at the same time because, for each image produced, the light takes a different route. Wait. Light residential slogan, vote for me, I will bring you light and change. Ladies and gentlemen. Ah. For some of these routes, the light takes longer to reach us than for others. Oh, interesting. That's really interesting. Wink, wink. Know what I mean? Know what I mean? Nudge, nudge. Vern. So, by using various models of the cluster acting as a lens, the astronomers have created, I like that word, a set of predictions for when it, for when it will appear again. Their best guess is sometime during the first third of 2016. The Hubble team will be ready. Hey. Astronomers are making predictions. That is bold, man. I would say, don't date your stuff, man. Don't date your stuff. You know? But thanks for dating it. That gives us something to watch for. Gravitational lensing, man. That's a, that's a trip. I like science. I'm interested in it. It's fascinating and often funny. And often feels like science fiction drama. Propaganda bullshit, but whatever. I love you too. Good night. I might talk more later.
Peace out.